Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Sunday. It is, what is today? May 7th. Um, and we celebrate today the fifth Sunday of Easter. So friends, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. <coughs> Alleluia. 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 The strife is o'er, the battle done. Now is the victor's triumph won. Oh, let the song of praise be sung. Alleluia. 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 On the third morn he rose again, glorious in majesty to reign. Oh, let us swell the joyful strain. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O risen Lord, all praise to Thee, who from our sin has set us free, that we may live eternally. Alleluia. Whoever thirsts will drink freely of life-giving water. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I love. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name, I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed, I remember you. On you, I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings, I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, creator of unfailing light, you give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our work give you honor, and our voices celebrate you forever. Whoever thirsts will drink freely of life-giving water. Alleluia. Worship the Lord who made heaven, who made the heavens and the earth, springs of water and the mighty sea. Alleluia. 
Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Worship the Lord who made the heavens and the earth, springs of water and the mighty sea. Alleluia. The saints will rejoice in glory. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful, <coughs> excuse me, let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as creator and redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. The saints will rejoice in glory. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. God raised up Jesus on the third day and granted that he be seen not by all, but only by such witnesses as had been chosen beforehand by God, by us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and to bear witness that he is the one set apart by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets testify, saying that everyone who believes in him has forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Alleluia, alleluia. You have risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever lives in me, and I in him, will yield much fruit, says the Lord. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers 
and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whoever lives in me, and I in him, will yield much fruit, says the Lord. Alleluia. <coughs> Christ is the Lord of life, raised up by the Father. In his turn, he will raise us up by his power. Let us pray to him, saying, Christ our life, save us. Lord Jesus, shine, light shining in the darkness, you lead your people into life and give our mortal nature the gift of holiness. May we spend this day in praise of your glory. Christ, our life, save us. Lord, you walked the way of suffering and crucifixion. May we suffer and die with you and rise again to share your glory. Christ, our life, save us. Son of the Father, our Master and our Brother, you have made us a kingdom of priests for our God. May we offer you our joyful sacrifice of praise. Christ, our life, save us. King of glory, we look forward to the great day of your coming in splendor, that we may see you face to face and be transformed in your likeness. Christ, our life, save us. And for what else shall we pray for this morning? <clears throat> as we call to mind our own prayers, our own intentions, as we remember all of those people who have asked for our prayers, remembering each of those people that we've promised to pray for, we lift up our voices, praying those sacred words that Jesus himself taught us, and together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, look upon us with love. You redeemed us and made us your and you redeem us and make us your children in Christ. Give us true freedom and bring us to the inheritance you promised. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is, what a gift, what a treasure it is for us to join together this morning and each morning, praying this, the prayer of the church, praying with the church, through the church, on behalf of the church and for all of her members. And how good it is to them that you and I can be together, again, this little group of prayer warriors, not just this morning, but to be able to be with and support each other spiritually throughout this day. So that whatever I face today, whatever you face today, none of us faces it alone. First and foremost, because the Lord is with you. The Lord is near. And then you also have, we have each other. Praying with, praying for each other throughout the day. Friends, uh, on this Sunday, this fifth Sunday of Easter, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, to be healthy today, to be happy today. But above all, remember to be holy today to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ in your life. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.